Y'all show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. Thank you for tuning in to the Getaways Morning Show. I'm your host, Johnny Domino, and with me I have... I am Big Dana this morning, on this morning show. The biggest for Dana reason. you ever seen thus far, it's man. It's for reason. They got some Danas out there, but don't have no, you don't have no R Dana. <laughs> Not my government. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Check this out. <laughs> y'all already know, y'all should know we finna talk about that the coming off of uh, <laughs> uh, election weekend. Coco. Turn it down, Coco. Come on, man. She don't know. The TV turned down loud. Volume down. There Thank you. There you go. Thank Good you. Good girl. You're so smart. Check so, this out. You uh, is kind. You is you pretty. Is you is important. <laughs> <laughs> build up. Build, build up. up. <laughs> Every time they tell you down, I'm going to build you to back up. Okay. Straight up. All right. All right. Uh, back to life. First of all, let's just get straight out with it and say it, Dana. If you didn't vote, Shut the fuck up online with all that old, what's this bad and yeah. this went bad. Because guess what? Only 20 and 30 percent, sometimes uh, the highest number I saw on the polls locally was like 50, 50, almost half of the people in that district came out. But majority of them was like 20, 30 percent. 36. So 100 percent of y'all will cry and talk shit on, online and on Instagram. But only 20 to 30 percent of y'all will come out and vote. So check this out. December 10th. We have a runoff. Um, make sure you get out there and vote. Now, see, the first round, Dana, some of them people were like all cool to me, right? So I didn't want to step in and just pick my person. For some of them, some of them I knew I was going with for sure. I knew I was going with Gary. <laughs> but man, the, the, the Louisiana showed us how they feel about us, if you ask me, Dana. You know what I'm saying? What you think, Dana? Well, I think it is because nobody had enough information on the bill. Even the man who wrote it said, vote no on it. So it caused a loophole. It caused a confusion. Oh, and I wasn't even talking about that fiasco. Oh, I, I, I was that was because, horrible. But we made national news for that. Yeah. Out of the five states that did not, you know, that had it on their ballot, we the only state that voted no to keep slavery intact for people that's in prison. Yeah, shout out to Maria for coming through yes. and standing her ground. You know, that's what I liked about her, man. Um, it got confusing, D. It's like, it did. It, and then everybody who was in the circle, I mean, I would trust Curtis because Curtis been through the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I would trust Edmund Jordan because he's been doing the work for us for years. But the way, uh, is it Maria? Mm -hmm. The way Maria came through and she stood on it. She had videos. She had, she had proof, you know? Right. You know, so... It's just sad that uh, some kind of way they find a way to finesse us and keeping the bad. Like, it, they, they even cracked the joke on Jimmy Kimmel. You seen that? Oh, yeah. I saw. He said, remind me not to cross the street. And he thought about it. He said, remind me to never go to Louisiana. Never. So that's, that's, that's the same thing I be talking about when I say free the money. Jimmy Kimmel don't even want to come down here. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he a white man. Yeah, you y'all are scared the good tax paying people to come over here and, and come. That's why New Orleans stay popping. It's a tourism city, man. They go, they gonna protect certain areas, but down here they protect Third Street from us. Yeah, they do. yeah, it's crazy, man. But back to the to the this this election is the one at the midterm. This one really matters, y'all. Now check this out. I could I'm gonna talk about some candidates. Just get ways. We ain't got all them stipulations and stuff, right? So you got Don Johnson going against Hunter Green. <laughs> vote for Don. Vote for Don. Duh. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you why I say vote for Don Johnson. Vote for Don Johnson because he's dealt with every aspect of criminal right, right. court. And if I need to appeal something, I need somebody there with experience. Hunter Green come from family court. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this ain't even a, 
uh, uh, no type of disparity, no other type of way, who do you want to handle your appeals when it reaches that court? Right. And then majority of us are the ones that's going to jail. So when you don't get out and vote, you just voted. We already outnumber. We're forty six percent. That's the highest number. Blacks are forty six percent in Baton Rouge. So everybody who who dropped the ball the first time, let me see you December tenth. It, it's mandatory. And, and and let me say this to to those who out there: if you don't know the voting, if you don't know how, what to vote on, who to vote for, or how to vote for, I I don't find ballot. Uh, uh, what they call? Oh, the, the the sample ballots. Sample ballots in your neighborhood and vote off of that, because each of them are endorsed by people. So they they pocket yeah. them candidates pocket getting in line for being on those flyers for endorsing. <laughs> you know, in our neighborhoods, I saw buku flyers for people that wasn't even. I ain't never seen them in my hood. Yeah, this is election time. Here yeah, they it's come. No, they never came. They sent our people to pass the flyers out. So mm-hmm. don't be just chasing a dollar every time. Them fifty dollars that you're gonna get that one day polling and patrol and, and and passing out stuff. Yeah, like that that <clears throat> that broke me down. Like I say, I seen on that. I say, wait, what? Yeah, I screenshotted it and sent the y'all dropped in the group. I was like, what is this? Yeah, this in our neighborhood. Right, right. And check this out. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about a few more that I can think about. When I looked at Lyell from Zion, uh, not Zion City, from uh, Zachary. I'm going to say yeah. Zion City. Lyell from Zachary. Shout out to Zion City. Shout out to Zion City one time. Check this out. Um, Lyell and another opponent, when Lyell went against somebody else, if you look at the votes that were split, like the other other person, Tequila, um, only got like 100 and something votes. But if you had added her votes to Lyell's Lyell. votes, he the one. Right. See, that's what they do. They they they. They make you split. They split the vote. So here come this guy running, and here come some person with a. I can run too, but what it does is split the vote. They pay him to do that. Yeah, and then what the other side has done, they gonna all stand unified yeah. with that one candidate. Right. That's what they did with Gary. Absolutely. They split the Democratic vote with Luke Mixon. They split it up and they had like fifteen, 15 people. people on there. That had never been when when it was when it, John Kennedy was running before. Yeah, and they we, did that because they knew Gary had an opportunity to to actually beat him. Well, Gary made a lot of noise. He was doing his thing, but he was banking on us supporting us and us coming out for us. Cause see, every time something go wrong, I see people at Gary Chambers on the post. Oh, yeah. Look at what happened, Gary. Come save us. But did you get your black ass out there and vote for Gary? Now Gary did good in Baton Rouge, but he still didn't win. And where there's more black people than any other people, than other, than white, than anything else, he still didn't win. So the black vote is still not strong, but y'all not even remembering. Some of our people had to been hosed down and bit by dogs and ran and inter- intimidated. The Evangeline Fire Station. Right. Turned one of my people around. He got his letter from uh, Governor Edwards. Oh, you doing voter fraud. Governor Edwards told him he could can, can vote again. Right. He got his paperwork. He doesn't have it on hand, you know. So if you didn't, if they if they stop you from going to the polls or whatever, hit us up. But also, let's talk about a couple other races. Uh, Miss Pamela Taylor Johnson, Judge Pamela Taylor Johnson, retired. Well, she retired. Right. You know what I mean? Um, against Patrick Martin. All right, Patrick Martin, cool guy. But we've seen the school board getting sued, making bad decisions. That wasn't legal. Right. So if I want somebody in there who is representation of what the demographics are, Mm -hmm. and she's a retired judge that worked in the juvenile court system, you said she even dealt with with some things for you. Yeah, absolutely. She dealt with some things for me and my kids. And nobody's mad at her who came to her court. Well, I don't know nobody mad at her. She was a good judge. She was was a good judge. She was fair and impartial. She was definitely about kids. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Like, she she was definitely about getting those kids some help, not just locking them up. Yeah. You know, she wanted to make sure that um, the kids were corrected. Yeah. Yeah. So, if I'm going to vote, I'm going to vote for Miss Pam Taylor Johnson in that race. Um, She's got the experience with the kids. And if you say we're having problems in the school with kids and behavior, let the juvenile court judge handle it you know in district nine uh another one that i like is uh kathy carmichael i i really like miss kathy carmichael uh, she she came to all the um the forums mm-hmm. she had valid points hey oh okay all right come on oh uh, how you doing brother 
get her only here, get away. We keep it moving, baby. <laughs> uh, but I like Kathy Carmichael, man. You, you know, Dana, energy is one thing. But, um, you know, she got the nutrition background. You know, what you eat, it, it, it helps everything. Your temperament, your attitude, how you feel that day, how it lifts you. You know, everything you consume is very important. And she she wasn't bought. She, You know, this is what we got. We got people with campaign money who can make themselves highly visible but might not be the best option for our kids. Right. We finally get into a situation where we can change up what's been going on in there. A lot of seats been upset in, in the school board, and we need these drastic changes. Yeah. You know? Coach one. Yeah, yeah, Coach one. And I love Evelyn and Coach. I didn't want to I didn't want to deal with that, but congratulations, congratulations. to Coach. I heard only Shoshone, good things. Shoshone in that thing. She got well, a she, runoff. She got a runoff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like Shoshone. But shout out to Shoshone with them 47% of the votes in that area. Mm -hmm. that, that thing could have got missing. Yeah. That's one that I, I uh, <laughs> I, I probably, I probably, I'm probably going with Shoshone on, on, on hers. The, uh, her, her candidate's good people too. Um, He's only one now, and that's Monique. Yeah, Monique cool, but yeah. I think I'm rolling with Shoshone. I, I like some of her points. Um, you the know, Darius but one. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Darius, Lannis. Uh, congratulations. Good morning, getaways. Look at them. Good morning. <laughs> uh, I got you, A. Who else we got? Um, we got uh, election wise. Uh, it's another one I thought about. Uh, oh, Gail Ray. Yeah. She Who do you want to see in court? And uh, what's the other guy's name? Um, Steve Myers. Steve Myers. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, obviously, for, for many, many years during my life out here in Baton Rouge, the courts have been uh, one side. It's just like redistricting. Baton Rouge is black, y'all. Like, there's nothing else we could do about it. And I'm not ever telling you to vote white or black, but if I had to vote, I want some things that reflect people of my, myself. People that look like me, people who've been through my experiences, because everybody cannot. You know what race pissed me off? Did you see that Connie Bernard shit? Oh yeah, but we knew she was gonna do that. Oh. It was it was said. It, it it was said that she removed herself from the race, mm -hmm. and it, it at a late point, so she her name would still be on the ballot on the ballot, mm -hmm. meaning that if they vote, oh, I'm in the runoff. You know that's that's control. That's mind control. She she did it without any money. It's basically, <laughs> she didn't pull a fly didn't out. Put a fly out and still won made it. it to the runoff. Yeah, and and yeah, made it to the run and most likely will win if she if she if it is. So who who running against Connie? Vote for them. Whoever it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Central, vote for anybody but Connie. <laughs> is she, she not the Central District? Uh, that is Central District. Uh -uh, right? Central got their own school district. She down here again? Uh-uh. Wherever Connie is. Whoever running against Connie, we she need to here, find out the name. She here, ain't it, Gene? Yeah, I thought so. Connie not in Central? No. That's even worse. All right, all right. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> now, we were talking about how pathetic y'all voted. Look, check this out. Everybody want to run to the ground. Everybody want to talk, but I need y'all to get out and vote. I'm going to put my own ballot down. Is Getaways doing a ballot? So Getaway is going to do a ballot. It may be just like mine, but you know there's a team of us over here. So whatever the team think, look at mine, look at theirs. I'm going to be a part of theirs. I'm going to be trying to influence the best way I can. And some of them may know something about one of the candidates that I don't know. So let's make sure that if you didn't get out uh, for in November, Let's make sure you get out December 10th and go vote again. And shout out to everybody who did vote. Shout out to everybody who did. Mm -hmm. And and just know that this election is more important than the presidential because you vote. if you don't cast a vote at this time, you don't cast a vote for president. I don't care how long the lines are. Yeah. Your, 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 your vote counts right now because those yeah. are the people who are electoral votes. <laughs> right, man. For real, for Not real. Popular. Yep, yep. All right, man. Look, check this out. It, it's a lot of things going on, and um, what we want to do here is we're looking for um, people who want to be podcasters, and we also are looking for current podcasters. We're working on a new show here at Getaways. Make sure you send an email to g uh, Getaways g h e t t o w a z e doc at gmail dot com. Man, I'm mixing all my words up today. And uh, let us know about your podcast. We want to put some people's podcasts on display on this new show that we have coming up. And guess what? If you have a show idea and you feel like you're a good fit, hit me up. 
we trying to produce content, content, content. We trying to have uh, control the narrative on what's being pushed and and uh, make sure that we get the right messages out to our people while teaching them. But we know we have to be entertaining, so we're looking for the most entertaining people. Make sure you uh, you hit up Gmail and let them know. Uh, is that getaways at gmail dot com? Dana, what you got up? I I I got up that. Um, <laughs> I'm still stuck on this election. <laughs> no. I, 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 uh, I, no. I know it's time to push out, but I'm still stuck on that. And mm-hmm. uh, the young man um, that got murdered in uh, where was that? What was that? The last young man got murdered by the police. That's it. Oh, Alexandra. Alexandra. Oh, my God. The Rapids parody. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. and that's ongoing. And, um, man, I can't even talk about all of that. But it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't seen it, um, the video is on our YouTube at Getaways YouTube. Um, police killed another unarmed un- un- black man. And uh, <clears throat> I feel like we're being, becoming desensitized. To the whole situation is kind of like oh they did it again yeah. um there is some protests and public outrage man but I, I think that until people start realizing that if i don't go hard for this lady's son or this guy's brother or this child's father they you're leaving room for them to do it to you yeah. or do it to your kids you can't say they don't kill girls look at sandra bland look at brianna taylor in her bed in her bed you know you could be minding your business it ain't just people who getting disrespectful with the police and we see you know, people get disrespectful with the police all the time, hopping out the cars, asking for badge numbers. Well, we don't normally be too aggressive towards police unless we on some type of du- uh, drugs or we on the run. You know, that that's just my take on it. But, you know, man, I, I believe in giving respect, but wh- how do you respect somebody who's corrupt and already have ill intentions when they pull up? Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's your take on that, D? Like, you know, <clears throat> did you see the video? Uh, yeah, but I could watch it. Like, um, my my thing is that uh, we already don't trust the police. Mm-mm. So when we see videos that's put out like that, when we get stopped, we usually either defensive mm-hmm. or we scared. We too timid to move. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, you know, we have no voice because no matter what we see day after day, people who kill us don't go to jail for it. They find justification in it some way, somehow. Uh, don't serve a day in jail. George Zimmerman shot Trayvon Martin. He wasn't even the police and got mm-hmm. away with it. Right. You know, uh, because he was deemed as violent, you know, but uh, he looked a certain way. So when I'm riding through my neighborhood or any neighborhood and I get pulled over by the police, I am already defensive because what did I do? Right. I didn't I didn't break no law. You know, like do I do I look like a suspect or yeah. you know or to whatever? Them, yeah. Uh, I, I, that's, to, to, yeah. From what I've seen, yeah, you just yeah. look guilty by association. Now check this out. The neighborhood that I'm in. Yeah, yeah. See, me personally, um, I've never seen the police and got comfortable. I feel like, whew, I'm safe. I, every time I see them, I'll be like, oh shit. That, even even Start if you patting my pockets, I don't even got nothing on me. I'll be patting myself down. Even if you're not, you automatically tense up when they get behind. Start you. checking my sticker and shit. Yeah. I start checking everything. I've never seen them be like, "Yay, it's the police!" Thank man, God for them. Man, my son, I ain't been wanting to ruin it for him because I ain't no, I ain't no hater. I don't like them folk, but my son been like, "I'm gonna be a police when he grow up." For real? Yeah, I ain't tripping. I ain't told. I ain't said. Nothing. I don't. I don't. I don't. I do not not like the police. I don't. I don't have no. No, problem. I don't like them. Yeah, well, that's you. I like the good one. I, it, and God bless the how good you don't one. Like them if you don't like the because like the until good the good ones start locking up the bad ones, I gotta not like none of them. Yeah, but they, the the majority of the bad ones outweigh the good ones. So I don't exactly. I don't, yeah, so I don't. Well, no, the majority of the good ones outweigh no the bad ones. Make the rest of them look bad. Dang, I would hope getaways wouldn't support you if you start going around putting your knee on people's neck, killing them, putting oh, them in no. chokeholds, yeah, killing that's the bad people. Uh, shooting people Don't who was unarmed. Me. Yeah, getaways ain't that. supporting that bull crap. Yeah, you know, no. if Gene and them start tripping, man, <laughs> look, Gene can start putting his knee in white folk necks. I'm gonna say, Gene, you doing too much. <laughs> you do, don't get that, man. Don't be like the devil. But, be better than him. But, <laughs> so what I was saying is, Ghetto Ways was totally established to warn our people about mm-hmm. the police because we know they handle us different. In yeah, our, and in we our ain't got no more money for y'all. Yeah, it's Yo, Christmas time. Ride. 
I'm not pulling up to no damn roadblock and paying you about no ticket. I couldn't fix the car. How the hell am I pay the ticket? How am I pay it? Come I on, man. I couldn't keep the insurance. How am I pay it? I couldn't keep the insurance, but you want me to give you two, three hundred dollars, man. Mm-hmm. Say, okay, Gene Something said, so I don't know minor. if y'all can hear him, but he said the Alexander stop, uh, uh, traffic stop started with a broken tail light. Now, how the hell you unarmed and get killed behind a broken tail light? I, that we math scared. ain't mathing, Gene. We scared. <clears throat> mm-hmm. What the fuck you stop me for? Oh yeah, high ranking state trooper, third, third, third rank. rank. A good, a good, good cop. cop. <laughs> and what's my partner name? I, I look, I like a uh, Colonel. Uh, what the name? The top at the top, Lamar Davis, man. See Lamar and Chief, they getting a the business clear, man. They getting a the, They getting. The, if you a bad cop, you got to go. And I'm out. Right. But just what y'all got to realize, I want to teach y'all something. Gene, we got to teach them this. You have to watch how they charge these cops, Dana. Cause they'll try to put a see the statues and the things that it takes to prosecute second degree murder mm-hmm. ain't the same for manslaughter. Uh-huh. They will put the wrong charge, knowing they can't prove the uh, without burden of doubt, without a reasonable doubt that he committed. We know he didn't commit first degree murder, mm-hmm. right? If they put second degree murder, they gonna throw that manslaughter in there. No, they need manslaughter in there, right, Gene? <clears throat> Intent. Yeah, yeah. The Ronald Green case. What did they charge them with? They still hadn't charged with that four years, five years now? Jesus. This was the first year. I shoot a nigga today, I'm going to jail tomorrow. <laughs> today. I'm going today if I if I can't get loose, right? <laughs> Damn. What up? Shut up. Yeah, the police don't snitch. Who told on them dudes? Them dudes killed somebody with their bare hand. And get what? Even the, the dude at the top, the governor, was like, I ain't seen nothing. He saw the video. Boy, that's some solid gang. You see, gangsters, all you street niggas, y'all pussy. Excuse me. Check this out. I just got to put make this point. The governor and all the, the state troopers that was in on that, they ain't snitch. Then they was trying to hold on. How long they held on to the video? Four years. They tried to delete some of it, too, didn't they? I don't trust Democrats. They ain't nothing but Republicans with a different suit on. I don't, I don't trust none of them. I don't trust none of them either. I ain't lying. I just made a little bit more money with Trump, but I don't like him either. But Trump, Trump you know, was about free the money though. But you know what? Trump was free the money. He was free, free the money. Our, our and economy, anybody's tongue. Our economy was doing so much better mm-hmm. when Trump was in there. Now you, you he, he is <laughs> like my daughter <laughs> say. Um, look at, look at my, look at my, look at my Afro American out there. <laughs> look at my, just look at it. You got the man in the audience hey, doing like you, you know what? I think people hate Trump so much because of his fans. That dude got a crazy <laughs> fan he base. He's funny though. <laughs> but did the people that rushed the, uh, the, 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 the White House, that was insurgents, <laughs> them patriots, <laughs> them thugs, <laughs> those thugs. Hey, that's the difference between black gangster and white gangster. White folk trying to take over the government. Black folk don't know what they try to they, take they over. They scared of the government. They stay away from that. that but we, oh. they easily kill us. Each Here other. come Massa. How you doing, sir? Hey, Massa. Nigga, what you looking at? I'm talking about they would bow down. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I saw that somewhere. Right. Uh-huh. Was that Dave Chappelle? Did Dave Chappelle say that? Man, that was dope. That what he said. Uh, black people together are gang. Uh, Italian people together are mob. White folks together are patriots. <laughs> and Jews that come together. He said, "What you better mind your business." <laughs> you gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> Gene, we got to start our show uh, in pursuit of being canceled. (laughs) 
Because I ain't biting my damn tongue for this for world. Real. And I just got to go ahead and live and die anyway. I'm going to say what the fuck I got to say, man. You know what I'm saying? You, it's all this old freedom this and freedom that. And then you look at what's going on with the Palestinians right now. And it's just like, damn, bro. We are in a better place, but we're just right above worst. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <clears throat> Like they say, it's a dirty world, but it's still spinning. All over the world, they got stuff going on that's, that's, that's disheartening to, to, to people. If you yeah. can tap into it. What's not being talked about is Haiti right now, bro. Right. What's not being talked about is yeah. no news, news coverage. We got, uh, because they black. They don't mm. give a damn. Like like Kanye say, George Bush don't care about <laughs> black, black people. people. <laughs> but then turn around and put a white lives matter. White lives matter shirt. <laughs> Now, but he he he's he's very intelligent. He's very the stuff Kanye say ain't lies mm -hmm. uh, in some in some aspect. Mm -hmm. But he just learn need to shut the fuck up at some time. Yeah, Kanye like me, he need yeah, to shut the fuck shut, up. Shut sometimes, the fuck up sometimes. Know? He's highly intelligent, but he 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 also is dealing with a lot of trauma right now, stuff that he ain't never healed from. So people can't take him serious yeah. because he have these mental spasms that he go out and rants. And you know mm -hmm. it just is what it is, but pray for the brother. And, and you know we always talk and that free shit. Free Kyrie, free Kyrie, man, free <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Yeah, I ain't even saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All Kyrie told niggas do watch a movie. <laughs> I can't believe you did that, Kyrie. <laughs> Should have never gave you niggas money. Should've they brought him back. That one gotta go live again. You got me? I don't know what happened. <laughs> you think? Mm. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah. To go in between. <clears throat> right. Add me in on your live. That's what you can do. Add get away. Is it the request to be live me? Yeah. Okay, go live. Get away. Yeah. Cause I don't know. That one's still tripping. Oh, I went back live. Yeah, probably fed. They always come when I ain't doing nothing. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Let me see. I'll turn it. Pop it up. Turn it down. One you got to turn your volume down. Turn your volume down. You don't need to hear nothing because you saying everything. Just turn it down. You, they going to hear you. That's oh. your volume. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, Man, we had a little uh rough patch today. We were a little late. A little disjointed. Uh, uh, but what I want to do is... Oriented? Uh, I, yeah, I was all messed up, man. Um, <laughs> what you want to do? The word of the day. <laughs> let's get it. The word of the day. <clears throat> what we gonna go with? Oh Lord, I have to look this one up, but it's in my phone. I got to pull it to live. Yeah, rough day, man. It is. Uh, and then I've been trying to figure out. I've been every time I see, you know, they got a little thing on here where you can they'll help you pronounce the word. Yeah. But if they don't understand Louisiana slang, I must be. I gotta say it like <laughs> heresy, 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 heresy. All right, the word for the day is heresy. Belief or opinion contrary to orthodox religious uh, views and doctrine, or an opinion profoundly at odds with what is generally accepted. Um, you left. Oh yeah, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I had to, uh, yeah, it kicked me out again. Yeah, I think it's catching on, though. <coughs> the word for the day is heresy. And I think a lot of us is, is, is all right there because when you look at all the spiritual people and people who believe in whatever they think uh, their God's name is, that's out of, you know, regular tradition beliefs. Uh and I, I really feel like as long as you believe in God, you'll be fine. Um, believe in, in a God. There's only one God. Believe in God, whatever you call him. And just make sure that you, 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 you're living your best life. You know what I'm saying? And putting your best out there. The more you give, the more you receive. And it ain't to stop giving if you ain't been giving right. But give to people who deserve to be given to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry. Oh, we 
timmed out. We today. timmed out today, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that. Shout out. What a Ugg boot game. Ugg boot game. <laughs> it's about that time, man. How you like this weather? I love it. It's my type of weather. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big don't boy. don't yeah, don't 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 get it twisted. The summer too, because I'm gonna provide a little shade. I, but, uh, yeah, I think I take uh, less baths in the in the winter Oh my no. Summer made me feel like I take three, four baths yeah, a day. Still do in, in, a, in the winter. I don't sweat that much. <laughs> oh, I don't sweat yeah. that much when when I'm be stressed all day today. Everything you eat come out your pores. You better take Sweet. more baths. I eat better though, D. Sure. I, I eat don't better. Care. Huh? Mm-hmm. How many baths a day I'm supposed to take? one good bath. Oh, I do that. That's easy. Yeah, not. A, I'm talking it, about it, away from three to four baths a day. You still gonna hit that one in the morning? Yeah, something about that one in the morning wake you up a little up. bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, man. I'm telling y'all. Well, check this out. Make sure you tune in today uh, on Ghetto Ways um, YouTube. Um, all the shows that you missed, or the ones you didn't catch, they coming out. They came out. One came out this morning. And make sure y'all listen to. Uh, Worm Judy. Worm Judy has That's a show right. called Check On Your People. And this week, Friday at 8 p.m. is the Black Friday special show. And that's going right. to be with Sashika. And um, a very, very nice show, man. I'm, I'm proud of Judy. Make sure y'all yeah. following her uh, at worm.judy. Spelled W-O-R-M. <clears throat> excuse me. Dot Judy. J-U-D. J-U-D-Y. And uh, a check on a people. Check on your people. Show has a lot of resources, and, and Sasha's gonna be talking about the OMG girls. If you have daughters, she has an organization of girls, and she does so well with these girls. Everybody needs a big buddy, mentor, a coach. And shout out to all the coaches. Shout out to all the mentors. Shout out to the people who put in extra time with kids because. With the economy being how it be and how hard parents got to work, everybody like to blame the parents. Yep. But some people working three and four jobs just to get by. Hey, Jada. And um, we need coaches. That's it. Mm-hmm. We need coaches. We need Big Buddy. We need uh, we need everybody hands on. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. As long as we're being fed by the by the government, and we're not putting our money together, and putting our resources together, and, and creating our own banks and creating our own schools creating our own form we will always be under control you know what i'm saying so start finding your way to independence and, and find your way into black independence we need our own everything we actually do <clears throat> um I, I think about harlem like when you when you think about your black independence and mm-hmm. certain things like that you know you hear about the town like uh rosewood they had rosewood and oh. also the, um, this made me think of the movie yeah the black the black um <clears throat> Black Wall Street, and um, you, yeah, you Tulsa, about, Oklahoma. Yeah, that was yeah. a, that was a crazy. They really came in there and just killed them people because mm-hmm. they was owned and didn't need. They had they was independent. Yeah, jealous. That scares the hell out of some people. But you know, slavery, slavery, like the Confederates, <clears throat> the mo- most of slavery was they who wanted to keep it in was not just rich white people. It was those white people that was right above slavery the mm-hmm. ones who was the, the slave overseers you know they they was just as poor mm-hmm. and and they wanted to keep because they needed a job yeah you know yeah. so they knew that they couldn't do the slave work and not get paid for it so they they pushed for slavery to stay i saw a karen the other day she was like your people get all the resources he was like y'all didn't have slavery he said, you know what I'm saying? I'd be rich, too, if my, my ancestors had slaves. Then. You know what I'm saying? If I had 200 workers to do my crops in my field and make sure that, and I bought that, they were stealing people land. When a black man was getting land, they'd go kill him and just take over. Take it over. Forge the paperwork and just get it rolling, man. But, you know, you 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 had resources for 400 years. 400 years ago, you had resources. Y'all had the, the biggest head start in life. You know what I'm saying? Man, ain't nobody... Ain't nobody, everybody been through something. When you look uh, globally, at some point, everybody's been, every culture has been a slave to something. And and something else. <clears throat> every, you know, you hear my 40 acres and my mule, you know, my reparations. Mm-hmm. Reparations have been paid for us. Reparations have been paid, it's been paid, but it wasn't paid to blacks. It was paid to the slave owners who owned those blacks because they they got their investment back. They the loss. Like, let me let me explain. Mm-hmm. So you remember when COVID happened, the PPP loans and all of that was coming out? Mm-hmm. So they asked you, 
what you lost, what what you know, uh, what was your income in nineteen? Mm-hmm. And like 20. tax bracket losses, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what your losses were, though. Mm-hmm. You know, no income. You have no income, so it's it's <clears throat> it's it's a loss. So the slave mm-hmm. owners who did not have production of sugar cane, production of production of cotton, or whatever else was their was their crop. Mm-hmm. When the slave trade was demolished, they were the slave the slave owners were able to pass this to the to the government and the government gave them money for each slave. Damn. Yeah. But they got paid on the back end too. That's the reparations that we thought we were due. So they were so they that's were that's where they come from. Yeah, that's what the reparations were already paid to the slave owners. Because everybody got reparations except us hand in hand. We didn't get our reparations directly from them. Because we still was property. We still was could we still was listed as property. They're not gonna let me say what I want to say, but well, don't say it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna stand. Say it, say it, say it, say, it, say it on another way. Yeah, I, you know I really just be want to tear all this shit up, and make it go bad, and get blocked for. Don't make me tear all this stuff up. <laughs> Knock all over the front. Yeah, you can't do it that way. You gotta Man, beat them another way. When you keep getting whooped like that, like I, I ain't I ain't really I ain't really into losing like that. When they keep whooping you on policy and whooping you right. on this and tricking you on this and they took this from you and they hid this from you. That frustrates you. It does. Now I know why they're trying to get rid of African American studies because they're gonna wake black people up like, damn, they've been messing over us that long. But yes, I I think this is this is a lot of what was not missing. You you got some white people who really don't know the experiences <clears throat> that we've had. They they mm-hmm. they they're blind to it. They don't know what goes on in our neighborhood. But if you truly want to help, shot come holler at getaways. We'll give you a tour. We we we'll, we'll allow you to see what really goes on in our in our in our neighborhood. Like mm-hmm. we we you know have a com- we gonna bring you to some real people to have a conversation with them about why why they feel this way or why this happened. You know because you 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 over here complaining Turn about. Turn your volume down a little bit. They saying you echo. I'm um, echoing all the way down. It is all the way down. Mine I think down our phone's too. just too close. I to muted mine, but y'all couldn't. I think no, I, they say it's good. There you go. Okay. I just muted mine because they can hear me all. I'm I'm I'm, I'm out big enough. I'm loud enough for them to hear me over there. Yeah. So we doing uh what we doing? Getaways tours now? No, okay. We ain't gotta do that. <laughs> I'm I'm big Dana and I'm outside. I got my own shit. Yeah, you got your own. Yeah, so I'll be I, holler at me. Hit up the- <laughs> Yeah. I I mean it ain't gotta be getaways giving you no tour, but shit, I can getaways you. tour I can with connect- Big Dana hey, outside. <laughs> but I can really connect you with some people who will give it to you raw. Yeah. If, especially if it's about some people that you if, if we connecting with people who really don't know and want to know mm-hmm. how you can help, how you can assist, what programs need to be in place in this area, this area. Oh, holler at me. I can take you. <laughs> you know, Anywhere. so you can see, build build something for them. Right. Because we living in two different worlds in right here in Baton Rouge. Two different worlds. I go on the other side and, and we sit and have a conversation and eating and, you know, and breaking bread with each other and nothing comes up in the conversation that comes up when I'm sitting down in my in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You hear about, yeah, such and such happened with such and such. And, you know, and over there, the, the least of they worries. Yeah, but we got to get off this us. shit. It, but it's affecting us. It mm-hmm. affects us. We hair the, like the the epidemic of opiates it should should show everybody that it has no color Mm-mm. you know it, it has no color mm-hmm. and and but it's destroying our neighborhoods man and it's creating beasts because you look at all the kids who's lost their parents to drug a drug overdose because somebody pressed the pill and and they and they od and you know what they blame that on the streets and i'm taking up for them because guess what they press the pill because they they Malincroft and and OCs oxycodone produced former created synthetic heroin got everybody hooked on it. Right. And the then, perk third is not even real. No, ain't no damn perk thirty you out know? there. Perk stop at ten, man. <laughs> stop hollering about perk thirty. That was a creative uh, advertising strategy that the black market did to make you think. Oh, they got it perk just, thirty. It was, a fi- it was fentanyl. That's fentanyl, dog. And you <laughs> don't take it. Don't take it, man. The synthetic opiate. The synthetic. Man, almost everything man-made now because the government got rich, you know, on a controlled substance, right? They're going to control the substance until they're rich, and then they're going to find out, oh, wait a minute, it was bad. They lied. They pay a couple lawsuits. They family rich forever. The whole nation is in, uh, hooked on uh, a drug now, you know what I'm saying, that was launched by Purdue Pharma. Right. The Sackler family, they're filthy rich. And guess what? He still was telling the salespeople, 
Get out there and sell those OC 80s. Get out there and sell these OC 80s. Now look at all the black men that's oped up, uh, that's that's locked up for selling pills they got from Walgreens. What about the black men that's locked up for the crack? <clears throat> what about the black? Because you 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 locking up the drug dealer, but the, the government put it out. Mm -hmm. You know, freeway you, yeah. uh, freeway uh, Ricky Ross. Ross. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. um, you look at certain areas like we we hitting hard with the with the fentanyl and you know opiate overdose. But think about when crack first hit mm -hmm. DC. It wiped communities out. You, there's documentation, like how you used to see people ducking and people mm -hmm. just crackhead. Everybody, when that drug hit, like how on um, snowfall, snowfall. That's first, based like, on true story. That's freeway Ricky yeah, story. Yeah, But you, you see how they, you, you actually see the effects of that dope on you, and you be like, damn. <laughs> I've been outside so long. I remember when the crackhead wasn't looking bad. I remember no. the functioning crackhead, yeah. fine and pretty, like still look good. And you, look at him in six months. You smoke. Check them out in six months, though. <laughs> when that addiction gets even heavier. Yeah, Ain't man. the same. Like, now, nah, the opiates take people teeth out. You can tell people Ooh. on dope when you look and be like, damn, you went to, from pretty to... Like, yeah. Who is that? I don't even know you. Yeah, go from you know? prom communion to dope fiend. I'm damn. talking about, man, kids, don't do drugs. Uh, Please don't. Don't do pharmaceutical drugs either, because, man, that's the gateway. I've seen that's people start off on them pills and got a, you, your tolerance grow. And then after so long, you got to take four, five. And sometimes you got to take ten just to get that regular feeling. Now and you get on, dope sick. Now you on dope hair wrong. Yeah, and you detoxing. Gotta and you're going to need something stronger. Man, check this out. Hurt. You cannot cover your sorrows and pains and drugs and alcohol. It ain't going to work. You can All smoke. women are men. Yeah, you, you can smoke until you pass out. You can drink until you pass out. When you wake up, the bills and the problems going to be the same damn bills and problems. You did the money you spent on Hennessy and weed. You should have went paid for something. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some help, man. I'm telling you, cause um, <laughs> it ain't no way of life, man. It ain't no way of life for real. It you ain't. know what I'm saying, D? Nobody. Yeah. What, but I can say this: nobody wants to be uh, a junkie when they grow up, though. Mm -mm. Nobody ain't nobody when they was young say, "What you want to be? I want to be a junkie. junkie." Nobody, nobody ever yeah. said that. You yeah. know, and they still people. I know they make their choices. You know, but at the end of the day. Be kind of people. Mm -hmm. You don't know what their struggles was. They they could have been locked in a closet and and raped repeatedly every day. You know, ain't no telling. I'm just that's just a scenario. I ain't talking about nothing in general. Yeah. But I mean, you don't know what people because people crazy. Yeah. Like you 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 just seen where the, the, the woman had her children handcuffed. They had to break loose in, in Houston and she ran down here to Louisiana like people crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I got, I got a, 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 a bad bad hatred for people who mess over kids and, and elderly people and elderly people like i wish i could have seen that i'd have i'd have, I'd have whooped the brakes off her and him i wouldn't care how it went let them let them babies in the handcuffs man. man like and then at what point see that's the thing man people be seeing their family members click out and crazy they remember they were crazy they when they were the children and they don't never go check on them and make sure that thing be right because man narcissists and people who really flip out they will distance themselves and fall out with everybody to keep you away from what they truly doing what they got going on. and that's scary man because when you're dealing with the kids man check this out i don't care what you do to save a child i'm telling you and save a child or old person or stop a rapist or a pedophile i don't care y'all tell on everything else tell on them niggas. i don't care i hate snitches right but when you, you do something like that, I ain't saw nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't saw nothing. Don't tell me I ain't sending no paperwork nowhere. Rapists and, and, and you see somebody harming a child, if you don't want to tell, do something. You're supposed to protect them. Crack that, crack them and crack them. Crack, back off top. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about see what's on his mind. You see what I'm saying? You can't do none of that around no real nigga, man. See all that old foolishness, man? I don't care who he is, what type of creature he is, what type of... Stuff you done done when you fool or uh, mess over a child or old person, you scum and everything. And you and you a coward. <clears throat> You, For you, real, you messing with people who can't defend themselves. You yeah. a coward. You, you praying on weak. You insecure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You a yeah. coward. For real, man. For real. Uh, look, check this out. Make sure you're following Ghetto Ways YouTube. Um, we got new shows coming out. We got uh, a new morning show dropped this morning at 6 a.m. Uh, with me and Dana, and then also we have Judy dropping this Friday. Uh, Worm Judy, follow at Worm Judy uh, on Instagram, and make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube page on Ghetto Ways 
on YouTube. Dana, I hadn't even been watching no football, no sports or nothing, but I'm also interested in a sports show. I want to cover the spectrum. I want us to have content for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So you want to start doing the sports stuff? Not me. Oh. I'm trying to get back behind the camera, but but oh. I, I, we understand. You need a caster. Oh. You need somebody to, to, to talk about the sports who's no sports. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the Saints stress me out. I don't even watch them no more. Yeah, they, they stress you out. I, they I, still Saints. Still Saints. Yeah. Win, lose, draw. Win, I lose, love them. I just, I can't watch that Saints game. Saints fans, something like that. It's, it's make my blood pressure yeah, go up. Too. So I just watch it at the end. Oh, I listen to it. Listen, no, I don't even listen to it. Like, I just want to see the score. We lost again. We won again. I could take it better than watching. We right. up, then we down, then we down. Down to the wire. We're coming back. I don't want to see all that. It, it just is good it's morning. I, I don't. It's, it's, upsetting. <laughs> it's upsetting me and my home girl. It's upsetting. It's really upsetting. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, that's what I want. I want to find a, a sports show. And, um,. <clears throat> We trying to find new content. Remember, I want I want to make this a point, man. Y'all stop prejudging, man. Gene, we did some shows, right? Um, people really misjudge us. They got people that misjudge me, but I've seen people misjudge Gene. A lot. Gene's so nice. But Gene is 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 in your face with facts. Voice never change, never get loud, but he in your face with facts. Some people don't like don't, don't like to hear about the facts. We restarted, huh? Nah, we started late, Gene. Yeah, hold on. Oh, uh, will you wait? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. What time we started? We started. And we had a we had a break. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go a little longer. Uh, man. Uh, but no, this, this what happened. Like somebody was like, uh, I forgot who said that. I was scared of you. I'm talking about Gene. Gene. The, uh, this this what I be trying to understand. You ever, Gene ain't never attack a good guy or come at or try to stop a good guy. He only try to stop the bad guy. So unless you're a bad guy, why would you be scared of Gene? You know what I'm saying? That's like if any police out there, they be like, I can't stand him. He say he hate the police. I hate crooked police. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't crooked, you ain't my problem. You ain't a problem. Right. It's the people you got to watch. When people don't like Big Dana or go against Big Dana, just look at Dana's character. It should make people be like, damn, why she don't like Dana or why he don't like Dana? What's wrong with him? You got to start coming see for yourself before you prejudge people, man, because it's some hurt people out there and it's some jealous and envious people out there. And they don't even have no reason to really be that or to really do that. But they they still have never gave you the opportunity to come and see for yourself, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, that's why we like showing all sides. Yeah, and I you know just, what I'm saying. And, and I don't care if you don't like me. I, I I'm true to me, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be authentic. That's all I can be. You ain't tripping. I ain't doing no false <laughs> tripping. No <laughs> false tripping. If you don't like me, yeah, somebody do. Yeah, they uh did offset funeral, man, and uh it, it was pretty much sad. And and I want to let people know, uh, you can have money, and you can have a bunch of niggas with you with guns, but if the nigga with the gun can't think, you are in a unsafe ship. You know? What did I'm they saying? ever really find out what went on? No. It's theories. Yeah, it's a oh, bunch of theories, but I don't know. Then they said uh they, they one time they was like uh they, they they caught the dude and killed him and did this and that and somebody said that was a lie like it's a lot of trickery going on but the thing about it is at some point when you reach certain levels of success it's some places you should just not go no more yeah you had no business being on the outside after the bowling alley closed closed shooting dice you got too much money what you got to lose you got more to lose than them like you're a millionaire, mm-hmm. you know you want to prove that you want to prove your status as being a real one, or being you know hood, and you got mad because they was in your bag nine thousand, ten thousand, or eight thousand. I don't know. I done seen people lose their life. Rest in peace to Slop, two little brother got mm-hmm. killed just like that on a dice game, and he ain't had as much money as these people have. Right, right, right. You know, so it shouldn't it, it, that losing money is, it, it bruises your pride and your ego. No matter how you, it, that shows. It's just been bad chemistry because a lot of niggas got like bums with guns. It's dudes who got no money, right. no juice, they ain't got nothing going on. And they just go hang around these dudes with motion and they bird feed them and give them crumbs. That ain't no life. 
being no bum with no gun, man. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Because you the muscle. I, 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 got, I got proof. I know somebody right now been in the game for decades, and they travel by themselves. They go to their shows by themselves. They do everything. They book. They do it all, and they be getting it. But they don't be in no bullshit. If it ain't no money, they ain't going around them. See that, to a. see that dice game? <laughs> hey, you you can use a a another one. Mm-hmm. You know, like even though he in the blue circuit, he still was in the game at one point. <laughs> he was in the game. He was in the rap game. Look, a lay around there. A be all over this place. He go hit that stage. He go on by the business every now and then. Well, a lot of times D be with him. He put his son on. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you got like low. See low. You don't see low with no hundred people. Low probably pair more paranoid with a, a gang of niggas than be by yourself. You, you when you've been in the streets a long time and you've been through all kind of stuff, you start being safer by yourself. You ain't gonna tell on yourself. You ain't gonna sneak yourself. You ain't gonna backstab yourself. You ain't gonna do none of that. It's ways to move, and they got people who move correctly. And you got to really appreciate your run. When you get your turn and you get you a run, you gotta really appreciate it because. A lot of times, n- niggas thinking they at the top, but you just slightly above ground. You slightly above the bottom. Hundred bands, million. We done seen these people shut people a countdown, freeze a nigga assets. You thinking you got four million dollars, you could fight a case. They freeze all your money. In in twenty four hours, you back to grand uh, ground zero with a search warrant and, and, and a couple other pieces of paper. They done froze every account you got. Yeah, yeah, man. They gonna whip you. Yeah, because everybody don't get these opportunities. So when you able to get up, man, don't be stooping back down and going to do all this and trying to show a nigga you hood. And, yeah, I'm gangster. I ain't scared to come to the dice yeah, game. Nah. Man, fuck that dice game. I'm going to sit in this damn five-star uh, room. That, I'll go, go somewhere else. That the promoter paid for. Yeah, go somewhere else, but that's my friend. I'm going to kill my show, and then I'm going to get the hell up out of here, man. Because, look. Nigga losing it. Look, hey, you know somebody else that got hit up at Roscoe's. What they extorting them boys at Roscoe's? They uh, Roscoe is a hot spot. Well, they been talking about how Los Angeles was was they, they is notorious now for the jacking. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, they gonna pull up on you. <laughs> it's all in weekend shoppers. <laughs> Shit, that Rodeo Drive stuff. The nigga yeah. hungry. Man, bur- beasts are being birthed. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy when you we used to be walking through Skid Row on them scooters. Yeah, you be thinking, boy, them boy be having them, them homeless people be having rods and everything, sure boy. Will knock your ass out. Cause people be running from the police and throw them guns and they, they pick them up and them mud disappear. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody say, hey, Dana. But that's the thing, man. If hey. you if you ever get into a position where you can move up and move your family up. Please don't be out here trying to prove no nigga points, man. I'm talking about no street nigga points and trying to prove to people that you this, this, and that. Because there's a lot of people that can't even take their children to Chuck E. Cheese behind some ops, behind trying to prove a point. You can't even be seen in public. You can't go nowhere. Your nerves bad. And you, you didn't, some people didn't did. See, this is what people don't realize. Sometimes things go bad. Sometimes things go bad because people have done so much that they paranoid about everything they do. I be trying to tell y'all, man, don't even. I'm, I'm, I'm still standing on never rat. Just never put yourself in position to where you got a rat or go to jail. I'll put your trust in nobody. Mm-mm. Because uh, I done seen snake. I done seen. I done seen people partner snake them. Mm-hmm. People that you'll never like. Shout out to Jeff Perry. Free him. I, I done seen people who, mm-hmm. who he trusted. You know that he never would have thought turn on him. Turn on him. Mm-hmm. I done, I done seen it with Tulu. You family, know, yeah, it'd be family friends, yeah. sisters, brothers, people that you would people that you willingly would have died for at some point. You mm-hmm. was gonna go to war for them, or you stood on their word. Mm-hmm. You stood on what they, you know, you believe they word. Free dump truck too. He stood solid, truck. man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. But um, I mean, it, people, I don't know why, but I don't know why. Like, it took me a while to see it, and then I had got off the bull, the bullshit for a good little while, and was just on some money shit. But even with the money part, like. The money not even worth it no more, Dana. Like, man, they gave Travis James 360 years. 30 man. years. I mean, 360 months. months. 30 years. 30 years, man. And man, I'm talking about, we talking about just hustling. He just was a stronger hustler. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when you get into them situations, all that entourage is just like Pimp say. They were flying the flag with BMF, with Meech and them was rolling, but 
Now who flying the Travis James uh, flag? He got some people that still down and some people that still stay solid, but a lot of them got on down. Yeah, that money ain't there no more. Yep. You, know, you gotta watch them users, man. And free Travis, man. We we we, we down with Travis James to the end, man. And God bless him. Whatever I could do out here, man, I'm gonna make sure I could do it. But just to give a man, you know, 30, 30 years. And just they just handed it out like it wasn't nothing. And that's and that was that was my thing. Like I, I had a lot of questions about that. What I, I really wanna know why they charging drug dealers with murder numbers. Murder why numbers. Why, yeah. why why how how you how you charge the drug dealer with murder numbers? Yeah. I know, you know murderers then came on before drug dealers. Yeah, five five years, ten years. Yeah. Some get away with it, uh the police. But, hit me in. Yeah. <laughs> I know hit me in that came on. Like yeah. the Italian mobs that hit me yeah. they that came on. That's power though. They yeah. got the power. Yeah. We, we got to start creating power. Yeah, and what they got to realize too, uh, when you take people like Travis James or Jeff Perry or, or, or like a Tulu or, or, Rico. or Rico Howard, you know what I'm saying? When you take people like Sid that. Sid Hargrave. Yeah, Sid Hargrave. Uh, when you take, that's, that's the most powerful person in that section. The whole section, we don't say the whole, because you know you got a couple haters in every section, but 99% of the section respect and, and rock with these people. So what you're doing is you're taking the leader out. You're taking the leader from his section, and now everybody are left to, you know, it's, it's a bunch of people who can't think for themselves, dang. And, and it's sad, but if you undereducate it, because the, the East Baton Rouge Parish school system is, is taking the money and doing whatever they want with it, so you're undereducated. You don't know how to make no moves. They done took your big dog, who you look up to, who was your leader. Your, your daddy was already in jail. That's why you had to look up to this leader. Your grandpa and them, or, or your daddy was on drugs, on crack, or died, or was killed by gunfire. So you left out here uneducated, without a solid uh, person you're to get advice protected. from. You're not protected. You're not protected. So guess what? You're going to fuck up and figure it out. You gonna keep bump fucking your up, bump your head. So are you gonna either spin your wheels or strip your gears? Yeah, and if you make it, if you make it, cause I feel it. I'm, I'm 41. I feel it. Right. I, I, I don't want nothing else to do with the streets, man. That shit garbage. You know when, what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you know better, you do better. It's I, just getting our kids to see that grace and mercy is your grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. So that means if you ain't had a mama who prayed and cried out and walled out and hit the flows for you or your grandmother you didn't have somebody with some kind of praying structure or a covenant with god mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard for you to stay in your ways and not be corrected mm -hmm. some people don't make it to their second chance no man and, you know? and some people don't even get a, a, a second chance at all it's just that was your first opportunity boom you did or you got life Bam. there's a lot of people who was like just caught up in the mix that's doing life with some shit that somebody else did and they just ain't no rat. You know what I'm saying? They sitting in jail this whole time and guess what? The, the person who did whatever, they sitting out there and they ain't trying to help them or do nothing because it'll implicate themselves. Free Tony Lewis, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free What's him. good? Free, free Tony, Tony Lewis, Lewis, man. It's a lot of people that need to get free, man. Free my dog, Troy James, too, man. Stay solid, man. It's a bunch of people in there, man. That's why I'm always hollering about freedom money because you know what? People won't admit it. But when them dudes were home, the economy was built. <laughs> yeah, they know it. When Jeff Perry was free, they know the it. economy was built. They know it. When Craig Gaines then went on their run, they know the economy it. was built. <laughs> and they let them dudes get that money, get that paper, everybody eating. Then they coming in for the last haul, and they going to take everything that's left that, that ain't mm -hmm. nailed down or glued to the table. <clears throat> yep. But those same skills that they had to run the organization or run these so-called what they call when they get them like snake bait uh operation snake eyes operation oh, gator bait yeah. operation um what is it free bands uh, shout out to everybody who didn't operation goldilocks uh, uh, i know a bunch of them yeah, yeah you know so when they give them them charges that 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 makes them get the kingpin status mm -hmm. you know and that and that all all was established by um right for evans and tony lewis tony lewis still incarcerated 30, 33 years and uh, his son said something yesterday. It was, it just opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Being on the phone with your loved one when you're in prison, you can actually still hear the phone hang up. 
you know, you know our kids will never hear that because it's not a house phone. When you, right. you're on the house phone and you hang up, you can still hear. Mm. But you can hear that prison call hang up. Damn, the it's still on the wall, wall phone. It's, yeah, you hear. It. Yeah. You know, so it's like he said, it's definite. Yeah. It's is it, man. Y'all yeah. don't know what y'all do. Y'all break our y'all break our families and then wonder why. We, we struggle like this. Y'all break our families because you remove the male from the home. Yeah, and and, and, and women, stop upholding these boys. Uh, if he on that game every day, make his ass get out there and go work. Um, if it look like he trying to be a D boy or one of the and, 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 and black black and young brothers, dog, rap and sports ain't your only way. You know what I'm saying? You need to start studying credit. You need to learn everything about credit. They got too much access to shit on YouTube and on, on everything. Learn personal credit, then learn business credit. Like right now I'm learning business credit so I can show niggas when I when they need help. Like and then people like me. I made it out of the street sucker free. Now I learned a couple things and I damn near caught on to that trend where we put it in a PDF and sell it to everybody, but then I start looking like man, I gotta give my people this shit. I learned that shit, I gotta give them this shit. You know, some shit for sale. They say the game is to be sold, not told, but shit. That, that might be what's holding us back. Because if I don't help nobody and nobody else make no money, then nobody got nothing to spend with me. I like thriving the economy. And one nigga money that ain't never made me feel no type of way. I'm going to go get okay, mine here I get mine. Yeah, man. I like to see niggas up, man. I like to see people booming and winning because it don't hurt me. And if I see another brother winning, that Give means me I can win, too. It Give gives me hope, hope, for real. Like, yeah. I could do that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, a lot of y'all, man, sometimes you got to think a little bigger. Sometimes you see somebody do something, you say, I could do that. Or I could do it better. You started off on the wrong foot with envy. You see what I'm saying? Competitiveness. Competitiveness. They ain't your mode. And then sometimes if somebody doing the exact same thing, that don't mean they biting off you. They just in the same lane. You just focus on you being the best. Don't get in no huddles. And when the customer come over there, yeah, I used to fuck with that bitch. I don't fuck with that. Don't get in all that. Keep it straight business, man. Keep it straight business and make sure your business thrives. If you put all your effort into your business, instead of hating, you're going to make it far. Consistency kills all that shit. Man. Right. You can't stop somebody who was early. Fuck on time. You can't stop somebody who was early and consistent. You cannot stop them. You gonna and then look if you get up earlier and you move faster and you be there quicker and you're more efficient. People gonna come to you. You gonna always fall out with somebody behind something. But if you the best, they gonna end up crawling back. They end up crawling back, man. Just find something. What I had to do, I had to stop trying to do everything. People, Find it, yeah, some somebody was telling me that shit and it pissed me off, man. I remember a nigga was like, "You doing? You do too many things. You need to just focus on one thing." I'm like, "Man, I, I can multitask, nigga. I can do a hundred things." It made me mad, but shit. Now I look back at it, man. That nigga was right. I was supposed to pour all my time into one thing and just really dive in there. Well, focus on that because you it, it, it you need you did you need. Several sources of income. Shit, you. That's you know. So if you focus 100, don't keep all your eggs in the basket. Because if you keep all your eggs in the basket, if that one thing fall, then you fold. You right. Know? So you you gotta you gotta you gotta start uh, navigating away from what's comfortable. You gotta be baby D. No, I ain't gonna be baby D. <laughs> I ain't gonna sell drugs. I ain't gonna sell sit drugs. And baby sit and do hair. But I'm gonna cook, <laughs> sell some insurance. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the streets, on the on the on the crime scenes, and I'm gonna connect people to resources. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm always been the person who's gonna root for the underdog. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna scream out to the top at all the yeah, all love the injustice, the all the injustices mm -hmm. we as people, you know, face. I'm gonna always scream out for them. Rest in peace, betrayal. I think about mm -hmm. that. It, you know that 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 bothers me. You know. That the injustice that was done with that young man, bad man, you know, and and nobody's speaking on it. And when mm -hmm. the, and the person on the out, like Tony Clay, he had an opportunity to right his wrong, you mm -hmm. know, from before he made it to 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 be the what is it? He he's now the district attorney over there. Before he became the district attorney over there, he he said we gon we gonna hold him to the utmost extent of the law. He got in the office and said, oh police doing this that's what that is outlandish mm -hmm. but at first you were calling that's what it was mm -hmm. now you in office you 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 done been shushed yeah you done been shh 
You might want to leave that one alone, Tony. Yeah, don't don't open that can of worms. You don't want to do that one right there, Tony, because you, you know, know you're going. And now you know who you, you gave you a job. Now we gave you a career. You know you might want to just leave that one alone. But see, I ain't gonna lie. At what point? At what point do you get tired? See, I don't understand that because we don't rock like that. We don't understand that move because we lost our job, fucked our whole life up, and, and then nobody would have supported us, right? You know what I'm saying? So, but I wouldn't have cared. I'd have had to do what was right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The hell you laughing at? Somebody in my comment. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even finna repeat it. Okay, it that be crazy. <laughs> I ain't lying. Man, that shit crazy, dude. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of coverage on them police, though, man. It is. They got, they got so protection. much protection. And then that, the Office of Bill of Rights, man, it's like, man, any criminal who want to be a successful criminal can become a cop and be the best criminal there he is to walk this earth. That's all you got to do is become a cop, man. Anything else before we close out, D? Uh, I just want to say, y'all, Ooh. educate y'all self on this upcoming election. Comment got you locked. And, um, <laughs> not just that. <laughs> when, is the, when is the they new election? Going. When is the new December election? December 5th, isn't it? December 10th. 10th. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's, what's significant about the 5th? Oh, I've been nominated for an award. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that's what's going on in my head about that date. No, that date is the September, December the 3rd. Okay. But, uh, yeah. That's uh, good, D. Your, your hard work paying off, huh? Yeah. Uh, but... It, it, Look at you, done got stuck in the comments. No, you got a job I'm, to do, man. I'm, I'm, I'm talking if you let me. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it's, it's a good job, but it's bad that I got to get recognized for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's, oh, what that's is it for? Thing. It's, it's for uh, being active in our communities. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, it was just crime interventions and um, violent interruptions and stuff like that. So, yeah. uh, and just knowing how to, to handle uh, our people just knowing how to handle us. Well, it ain't going nowhere, dude. Somebody I, gotta do I it. Know. I know, I know, but and I understand what you're saying part. too. Because it's is yeah. uh is is nationwide though, but it affects us a little bit different because I I, I seem to think that people here in Baton Rouge we family oriented. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we we don't just stick with our hoods because we got we got friends from all over. I do, your, yeah. Your, yeah, your loyalty is with with who you who you who you rock with. You know, mm-hmm. who's been good to you. It don't matter. You know, no street lines gonna divide me from rocking mm-hmm. with you. You way from Glen Oaks. I'm from Easy Town. If you it, real, you real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it it at some point if we was just sticking in what what my neighborhood would be, it'd be I would be all Easy Town, Fairfields, in the park. Mm-hmm. You know, in the top part of the south, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. them lines don't mean nothing. The hood don't mean nothing. I I, I search for realness. You know, I made money all over this joint, right. man. I ain't tripping on no damn hood, man. I I love certain sections more than I, I'm, I'm gonna love where I'm from. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a, if, if, as soon as I get something, I'm gonna try to bring it back there first, Absolutely. and then I'm gonna try to help the other parts of the city. But that's what everybody should do. Build. If, if you're a basketball player or a rapper or whatever, and you, you done got some resources, bring it back to your section first. Right. Pop your section off, man. Do something for your people. You know what I'm saying? But I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Getaways Morning Show with me and my dog, Big Dana. I'm out this camp. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in. Keep it locked. <laughs>